Hi, second grade. For your shared reading lesson today, we will continue to draw conclusions and make inferences while reading the passage called A Snake Outside. Today we have two objectives. Our first objective is you will draw conclusions using clues in a text and what you already know. Your second objective will be you will make inferences to help draw these conclusions. A friendly reminder on how to draw conclusions. We need to make sure we look at our text evidence, the clues in the story, and add that to what our background knowledge is. What do you already know about that topic? Those two pieces together help us draw our conclusion. We also are going to be making inferences. When we make an inference, this is something that we think about what we already know and what the clues in the text are telling us. So when you're inferring something, the author does not come out directly and state that piece of information. But because of what you already know and the clues provided to you, it's easier for you to make that inference. Today, we are going to be reading a passage called A Snake Outside. As we're reading, we're going to be continuing to apply our comprehension strategy, making those inferences and drawing conclusions. Let's get ready to read. Before we read, the best readers in the world activate their background knowledge. I want you to look at this picture. I want you to ask yourself, have you ever seen a snake outside? If so, what did you do when you saw the snake and why? All right, let's get ready to make some inferences and draw some conclusions. I will read this passage out loud to you. If you would prefer to read it on your own, Feel free to pause the screen now. A snake outside. Russ and Dustin are watching TV. Dustin looked outside. There's a snake, he said. They both went to the window. It's just a king snake. It's harmless, Russ said. He opened the door. Don't go outside, Dustin said. It's already going away. Look how pretty it is, Russ said. Dustin came outside and stood behind Russ. Why is it here? Dustin asked. Lizards live in our yard, Russ said. We have those small squirrels too. The snake moved away through the grass. Then it went down a small hole. I hope it doesn't come back. Dustin said. Okay, second grade. So what I would like us to do now is we're going to look at this graphic organizer. I had, I had plugged in two questions that as I was reading the passage, I was wondering. I was wondering, why is the snake there? And remember, when you're reading, it's important that you're reading for meaning, that you're asking questions. So my question was, why is the snake there? And I also was curious on how did they know it was a king snake? So why is the snake there? And how did they know it was a king snake? I want you to take a few minutes Go back to the passage in this presentation or the PDF version. Reread and see if you can identify some details, some clues that help you infer and draw a conclusion to my questions. Why is the snake there and how did they know it was a king snake? Go ahead and take a few minutes now. Okay, let's see how we did. So when I went back into this passage, 
and I was looking at the details, the text clues that the author provided us, I read that lizards and small squirrels lived in their yard. That was something that they told us in the text, directly, directly stated. So because of the lizards and small squirrels living in their yard, I took that information, what I know about snakes already, and I allowed, I helped myself make an inference that the snake maybe was looking for food. We can draw a conclusion that the snake was possibly looking for something else to eat other than lizards and squirrels, and that's why it left. Another example of how we can apply this taught comprehension skill is with the next question. How do they know it was a king snake? Well, the details in the text did tell me that this snake was black and white, and it also looked pretty small to me in size. So I'm going to take those clues, I'm going to think about what I already know about possibly what other snakes look like, put those two pieces together, and I'm going to make an inference that king snakes must be black and white and not very big in size. We also can draw a conclusion that the snake must have left because it didn't find what it was looking for. So again, second grade, I hope you found this passage interesting. I hope you are finding making inferences and drawing conclusions fun. And I encourage you to continue to try and make those inferences and draw those conclusions as you're reading your own stories. Have a great day and excellent job today.